tuko na shida ambayo ni shida ya watu wengi ambao tunapoteza katika ajali za barabarani hiyo jana tumepoteza watu kama kumi na sita katika ajali mbili moja kule Bomet tukapoteza watu watano ingine kule Voi Taita Taveta tukapoteza vijana wa university zaidi ya kumi na wawili watu wengine wengi katika sehemu zingine Kenya hii wanakufa kila siku katika ajali za barabarani wakiwemo watoto wetu ambao wanaendesha hizi pikipiki za boda boda familia nyingi zimefiwa familia nyingi zimepoteza wapendwa nyingine wengine wamekuwa vilema hawafanyi kazi tena familia nyingi zimeuza zimeuza mashamba ili kugaramia matibabu ya wa, wale manusuru wa ajali za barabarani wakati umefika kama taifa tuliangazie janga hili la ajali za barabarani na kwa hivyo tutafanya kikao sisi kama wizara ya usalama wa taifa ambao majukumu yetu yanajumuisha utekelezaji wa sheria za trafiki na vile vile shirika la usalama barabarani ambalo liko chini ya wizara ya uchukuzi we are coming out with the nationwide law enforcement measures against traffic offenses against drunk driving against unroaded worthy vehicles and also we will be very very firm with all road users so that we all observe traffic rules and save the number of our people that we are losing every day from road traffic accident idadi ya wa Kenya ambao wanakufa kwa sababu ya ajali ya barabarani ni takribani watu 1400 kila mwaka mwaka uliopita tumepoteza watu 1300 mwaka wa 2022 tumepoteza watu 1450 katika mwaka mmoja mwaka huu zaidi ya watu 1000 tayari wamekufa barabarani idadi hii ndio hata nyingi kuliko ya wale watu tumepoteza katika majanga makubwa ikiwemo lile jango janga la covid-19 kati ya mwaka wa 2022 mwaka wa 2020 na 2022 2020 to 2022 we had covid-19 in Kenya in those two and a half years the total number of people who died from that terrible pandemic were 4000 about 5000 people for two and a half years a serious pandemic the people we are losing in road accidents in one year are almost 4000 people in other words road traffic accidents are claiming the same number of lives than serious pandemics like we had even more in covid-19 therefore we must obey traffic laws we must all work together and clean our roads from all manner of uh, road users who are careless both pedestrians and motorists and law enforcement officers must strictly enforce the law and we must also fight corruption on our roads which is a big contributor to these road traffic accidents because people driving and road worthy vehicles 
end up bribing some errant officers and they get away with unroadworthy vehicles without being punished. In the process, we have the kind of situation that we are having. Kwa hivyo mimi ningetaka kusema wakati umefika sisi kama taifa la Kenya tujiokoe sisi wenyewe. Tuko na vifo vya watu wengi ambavyo ni vifo vya mapema kupitia ajali za barabarani na vile vile kupitia madawa ya kulevya na miadarati na shida zingine. Kwa hivyo ningeomba wale ambao tunafanya kazi katika idara za umma tuwajibike na wale ambao tuko katika idara za ku, kutekeleza sheria tuwe na uzalendo wa kutosha tujiepushe na hongo na mambo ya mlungura na wananchi vile vile waheshimu sheria na waheshimu maagizo ya officers wetu wa trafiki na officers wetu ambao ni wa kutekeleza sheria because some motorists are rude they defy orders from traffic officers and we are calling upon all of us to comply including motorcycle riders they must behave well like good road users save their lives and save the lives of the rest of us <laughs>